Well, I did a bunch of research and learned through some taxidermy discussion groups that a really good way to preserve the armadillo um, head, tail, and covering is to use borax of all things. So they said to scrape the inside of everything and get as much meat off as possible and then coated with borax to dry it out. So we went and bought two boxes of borax. There you have it, two boxes of borax. And I'm gonna take the armadillo out and clean them up. As stated in the other video at the end, I learned that um, though it's not super common and uh, it's pretty rare that this happens, it is possible that armadillos carry leprosy and can transmit it to people. So once again, I am wearing my gloves. I can figure out this bag and how I twisted it up. But Anyway, once again, I am wearing gloves to protect myself. And if you are going to process your own armadillo, I highly suggest that you too wear gloves. They are not expensive. And even though they feel kind of weird, it is pretty good insurance policy against the disease that you probably want to make sure you don't get. So, just a thought. Alright, so here is our armadillo parts that we want to keep. And I'm going to do some scraping in there and clean out what I can and then fill her up with borax. Alright, I've been working on one of these sides quite a bit and you probably can tell which one when I go from one to the other. Uh, cleaned off the head a little, but there's still some I need to get, probably with a thinner knife. So I'm gonna scrape on this side for a while and try to get it at least that good. I switched the head and tail end around a little bit, so hopefully you can see some of this. Here we go. chosen to use this knife for this job because of its shape of its blade. It does a really good job with scraping sorts of tasks, as you can see. Making pretty quick work of that, huh? Okay, so I got it scraped out as best I can. Got the tongue out. I see armadillo mouth. That's probably best opportunity you're gonna have. Okay, and then scraped out all this as best I can. Those are the cracks in the shell that we're gonna fix. And here we have the tail so attached. And then this is what the other side looks like. Now we are going to make a little basket out of chicken wire to help him hold his shape while we fill him up with borax and hope to dry him out. Believe it or not, there's an armadillo in the cooler. So there it is and it's got a chicken wire little frame to help hold in position and a shirt hanger to help hold the tail where it needs to be. And that is its snoot. So you have its nose and then I open its mouth and stuff to full borax because we have to dry that out. So I figure I might as well put the tail in there if it's going to be a basket. So there we have it. And then tomorrow I'm going to get two more boxes of borax and just engulf the thing in borax and dry this puppy out.
All right, this is just so I have evidence that I did indeed scrub the sink thoroughly. Actually, this is like the second and third compounds I've scrubbed the sink with. So when anybody getting sick, just because I processed the armadillo in here. So cleaning the sink really, really good. Now it's tomorrow and I have added a third box of borax and am adding the fourth. So this will be one buried armadillo. Looks like it's in a snowbank. From what I've read, it needs to just sit in here for about a month, so <laughs> I guess we'll check it after that. 